Hey guys, it's Red Lobster, and today I am here with the well-anticipated tutorial on how to make a fancy little desktop like this. With a little fancy little clock, little fancy little animations and stuff with the CPU meter that is incorrect most of the time, but is there. And then, you know, just the rest of the stuff that I'll explain as well if you haven't seen my previous video. But thanks again for the very positive and overwhelming positive response anyways on my previous video asking uh, for likes in terms of if you want to see a tutorial for the thing I showed. And you guys gave me over a thousand likes in 10 hours, which is a new record for me, so thank you for those kind efforts. But what I have here is the, uh, of course, particle of that display. <laughs> now I, this is the, the birth of this video now. So what we have here are, especially if you haven't seen the previous video, is just a bunch of fancy little minimalistic stuff that allows me to traverse my desktop more easily and also looks fancy as well. So first of all, we have a start menu down here, a little start uh, roll-up bar. Uh, that's nothing fancy, that's nothing that requires a program, but if we right-click on it, the way I did this was if you go to properties, uh, in Windows 7 at least, uh, there is a taskbar appearance and I just auto-hide the taskbar. And you can also uh, change it so it's at the top. So it appears up here, or the left or right, but the bottom seemed the best because I have my little thing up here. Uh, something that's different from the previous video, of course, is that I also have a little drop-down arrow that opens up a notepad uh, and allows me to change that within the program itself that I haven't mentioned it, which I will in a second after I display the second thing I changed, which was this. Now, the letters looked a little weird in my previous video. Uh, I was just messing around with like the, the appearance of when I hovered over it, it lit up. And you might have saw that for a few seconds in my video, but this is preferred in my opinion, even though that it changes, or that it has like a different color scheme than the other stuff, maybe a little bit similar to this, that's that's pretty much it actually. Um, but you know, if I click on these links, it'll actually take me to those sites and things like that. I want to close everything. Um, and the last thing I want to mention about my desktop is that this moon, the little space dude, the lawnmower, and the sparkles are actually just a normal wallpaper. The bubble is not a part of that wallpaper whatsoever, it's just a different skin. So basically I have an accumulation of skins in a program called Rain Meter. Now, if we go to this little uh, arrow right here and then this little teardrop looking like thing, this raindrop, of course, is called Rain Meter. And that uh, download link to that will be in the description, of course. And it'll pop up with something like this once you're done installing it. Now, you won't have most of these folders. You actually only have this little Illust Illustro folder right here. Um, and this is under the active skins right here. Oh, this is actually all the skins I'm using right now. Uh, between the folders I have, these little subcategories are all these random things. <laughs> so I'm using quite a bit, that's why it's using more CPU than usual. If you have a weaker computer, I only have a quad-core processor, uh, which most people have at least, but if you have less, I would recommend not using a whole lot of stuff that animates, or not a whole lot of like VU meters, I'd stick to like clocks or like fancy looking things that kind of have a little bit of animation, such as this displaying uh, my pseudo location. Uh, but we go to the rain meter, uh, the first thing you'll notice when you uh, actually download the program, which you'll be kind of confused of if I haven't mentioned it yet, is that you'll have a bunch of random stuff like this. And this is basically the default skin under this right here. So the way you do it, you don't have to do anything in the program to like mess around to get rid of it, you just right click on it and then hit unload skin. Now if you want to change the skin, such as display a different thing like this, you can go to manage skin and it'll bring up uh, basically it in the active skins. It'll it'll go to this and then it'll click on this. And you can either hit unload or you can right click on it and hit unload skin. But if we go to edit, you can go in here and change a bunch of stuff like such as the color of the text and stuff like that with the numerical value of the color. And I'll have to probably go to the internet to find that or the text size. If I change it to like 15, the font will be larger, of course. Um, but that's that. So uh, basically, you, what you want to do is probably get rid of that and find, a own, find your own skin that somebody else has made or make your own. So we go to unload skin and it just gets rid of that and you can reload it if you want by just double clicking on it. Same, same thing like that. So what you want to do uh, to get the stuff that I got, such as the VU, VU meter and these clocks and stuff. And the VU meter, if you haven't seen it yet, is basically um, in terms, it's called a volume unit meter. And what it does is it translates audio uh, from a music player such as YouTube or Windows Media player and stuff like that and I have several you know the bubble this one this one this one this one and the interesting thing is that it doesn't work off of like headset volume or uh, the computer output if I turn this all the way down it'll still it'll still play in the background I don't know if you can hear my voice there or not um, but another thing I mentioned is that if you turn down the uh, volume of the player it will turn down but if you turn all the way up sorry headphone users it'll look 
a lot better. <laughs> but uh, that's all preference, of course. So let's just close that for now and go to the internet, which will also be linked in the description as well. Not the internet, but the site uh, I, I used for all this stuff. So if we go to things like this, I believe I used some of these maybe. Uh, these are all skins for uh, rain meter and basically it just looks like a picture obviously if you just save this to your desktop That's just gonna be a wallpaper with a bunch of stuff that doesn't work such as the clock or these links to these uh, Folders and things like that. Uh, so I use this right here uh, to display my recycling bin as you can see But it's actually animated because that's how rain meter works. It's not just a wallpaper. It's a program animates it. So what you want to do is you want to download this right here. This is where the download link is. It took me a while to figure out where it was, but it shows all the stuff like it's got universal colors. Now, you know, there are three audio visual visualizers. Uh, I think I have a few of those maybe, maybe not. No, I think those are like down here and stuff. Um, so there's a lot of different skins. A lot of skins come with their own visualizers and stuff like that. The VU meters I was talking about. Um, but basically the fun thing about this program is that you can mix and match. And that's how I got, you know, all these different uh, that's how I have these active skins. I have a notepad from this one, the blue vision. I have a lot from neon space and I have some simplistic, uh, rain meter themes for, um, clocks. Yeah, this is the clock for the Tron clock anyways. And I also have tri sound, which is that little triangle that I was talking about. And if I get rid of that, my bad. Um, basically once you download it, you'll get a, you just want to install it right away. Uh, just hit yes to everything and you'll get a folder like this. So it's like if I downloaded that, uh, which one is this called? I forgot. Is this... This is the Neon Space Room Meter. Okay, so this is the one I'm using a majority of because I wanted like a minimalistic space theme. Now, of course, this is a little overboard, this everything, uh, for the theme I wanted, so that's why I mixed and matched it. So you got this, and now if you go into here, you know, I wanted, uh, say, if I wanted that Venus belt that's in the bottom left, I would just go to Venus, and then there's three different sizes for the little thing that my recycling bin is inside. Now, an interesting thing I want to mention that took me a little while to figure out is how to change the things that you actually get uh, in terms of like text and font size and stuff like that. I kind of mentioned over in the beginning, but if you right click on it and then go to uh, manage skin, this will basically just bring it up in Rain Meter. Once you open Rain Meter back up, of course, it takes you right to, uh, you know, Tron Legacy links and then double click on links. That's this right here. So uh, you can just manually do the coordinates or you can move it. Of course, as you can see, it's draggable. Uh, so if I go ahead and I, oh, I can't do that <laughs> because it's a, it's a link. Let's, let me display that with something else. Let me just go ahead and use this thing right here. So there's a little circle thing, the neon circle. Uh, it's draggable, so I can move it around freely. Uh, that's if you don't want to have to change, um, like if you accidentally click on something, like if I'm trying to click on Google and accidentally click on this and drag it away, that might be annoying to some people. Of course, I'm trying to place this perfectly now. Dang it. Anyways, but it's draggable, so if you want to unclick draggable, now I can't drag it because it's not draggable. <laughs> now, for click through, that's important. If we come over here to this one, uh, because I'm clicking through it to get to my recycling bin, if I click on it, ooh. Beautiful. Okay, I'll have to find that one because I actually made it click throughable, uh, which means you can't right click on it either. So I think it's this one? Yeah, it's this one right here. And you can find that, of course, by going through manage and then active skins. You can find the exact one, whichever one Venus is. Uh, medium Venus, that's the one I'm using. So if I clicked on that, it'll take me right to it. So what I have here is the click through thing. Now I can move it freely. Or actually, I can. Can't click through it, but I can, I can now right click on it and do these uh, manage skin options. So now I can find it that I actually, now that I actually found it. Words. Okay, so, thing I want to mention is uh, everything is kind of pointless except for claggable, uh, <laughs> claggable, draggable, and click through. So now it's draggable, I can move it around. Um, and the way you get stuff uh, inside of it uh, is kind of funky because if I got a recycling bin like this and I want to put it in, it'll give me a little cancel mark saying, no, you can't do that. If I try to drop it, it'll just leave it there because you can't put stuff uh, on skins, basically. But you can put skins on stuff. <laughs> so uh, basically, you want to put the recycling bin or any type of folder, such as my desktop folder that's doing the same uh, little mechanic over here. You want to put it uh, in the pre-position, uh, you know, post or pre. You want to do it before <laughs> you put the, the skin there. And then you want to put the skin when it's draggable on top of it. Then you want to put click through yes, that way you can actually click through it. Uh, and then you want to put draggable no. So now I can click through it to get to my recycling bin. And also has this little blue hue over it and it's animated over it so it looks like it's you know actually inside of it and you want to mess around again, again you know with trial and error. If it's not in the spot you want you want to move it, put the recycling bin where you want to put it and then put the thing back over it. Uh, that's the best I could do with it anyways. Um, so let's minimize that for a second. So to edit like the actual 
uh, text and stuff like that, you want to just go to manage skin, open that back up because I'm stupid, and then go to edit. Now this allows you to look at the actual notepad, the, basically the code behind it that allows you to uh, allows all of it to work basically using the rain meter, rain meter program. This isn't actual code of course, it's just telling rain meter what to do. So uh, what we want to do is look at the user configura configuration. Now this is all like a notepad made by the person that made the skin. So sometimes it'll be sloppy, sometimes it'll be all organized saying like this is the link name and this is the name of the link. So it's very easy to do. So uh, my Google link right here is named Google. So this is what the appearance of this right here will be. And then the link will be the link that that goes to once you left click on the letters. So it's very straightforward and very easy to do and very easy to change as well. These are all different things when I first did it. Uh, basically, you'll have to, some skins have these of course, some skins have links, some skins don't. Uh, you can just look for link skins. Uh, it might come up with a bunch of Zelda stuff right away, but uh, you'll, you'll eventually get to things like this. And it's very interesting, I think. It's a lot easier than Google, in my opinion. If you're just trying to do stuff like photo edits, I do all the time. Statistics I like to check, but that's like a very tedious task. You go to Google, then you have to type in live slash your YouTube name and stuff like that. So saves time, in my opinion. And you can also change the color right here, again, with a numerical value if you want to do that. So I could technically actually change this to this color, uh, you know, kind of if I wanted to, uh, but I'm just too lazy to go into Photoshop and pick what this color is and change it with those numbers. Um, but let's just do a little bit of example here. If I want to change this to Goog Googly, I could just get rid of that and do that and hit file and then save. Now it's not going to change right away because you have to go to this and then hit refresh. And then of course if you watch the Google word, it then changes to Googly. So I'll leave it like that <laughs> just for a little bit of an inside joke I suppose for the rest of my life. Um, but you know, for the main part, uh, that's all you really have to do uh, for everything. The only thing that I don't really understand yet is how to do this similar thing, but with uh, icons, essentially. Uh, there's some preset, like, icon things where it says, like, Minecraft, and if you click on it, it'll load up Minecraft. Even though it's not, like, a Minecraft application, it'll still load that up. Um, I know there's something you have to do, like, with linking, like, the picture and stuff like that, and the actual, like, folder location. Uh, but I never understood it, and I couldn't really find any tutorials on it very well. So uh, if you guys want to see that, uh, you might have to go Google and research yourself. I researched for a good three hours to learn all this stuff, <laughs> so I got pretty bored. But, um, you know, for things like the clock, you don't have to do anything because it automatically links to your clock. As you can see, this clock right here looks just like this one, uh, and it actually works off the clock itself, probably, I assume. <laughs> so um, the weather and stuff like that actually works off of uh, the internet somewhere, I believe. Could be wrong. So if you don't have internet, it might not work. CPU works off your computer, obviously. And these clocks right here, like this little tiny one, and then this is actually a clock as well, mixed with all of this, works off this as well. So that's pretty much the entirety of everything I have. Uh, you know, VU meters, that's important. Uh, links, stuff like that. Find a good wallpaper to make it go with as well. If you just want to do a plain color wallpaper and use all of this stuff as the wallpaper itself, that works too. But again, it uses CPU, so if you want to have a lot you might want to think about having a better computer before doing so. Um, same thing for this up here as well before I leave is that this uh, is editable in many different ways actually. Uh, there's actually a thing built in that opens up rain meter, the little thing, but uh, if you want to just right click on it and then go to manage skin and then open up rain meter and then go to edit, it'll bring up the same similar thing. Uh, it's a little bit different. Uh, it actually brings up a more complicated thing actually. So I'm just going to go to this for now. Go to this and it'll bring up, uh, you know, notes and then the dash and then whatever here. So obviously these things didn't come with the uh, little notepad I put these things in. And you can actually add another line too if you just go down here uh, or hit enter basically. Uh, actually I think what I did was I copied this and I just pasted it beneath it. Yeah, that's what I did. So it kept like the indentation and stuff like that. Uh, so I didn't think it would mess up the code or anything like that. Uh, and then I saved it and then I refreshed it and it opened up like this fancy stuff. So this little drop arrow right here minimizes it. If you have the same one, the notepad under the Blue Vision version 0.2, <laughs> I guess. Uh, there's a closed end, I'm using the opened one as well. So uh, you wanna make it click through, uh, not click throughable, so you can actually open this up and close it, of course. And draggable is up to you. Uh, if you wanna be able to move it around, I just leave it up here because it's all collapsed and stuff. So it looks minimalistic, but once I open it up, I can actually use it, it's functional. So I like things that are functional with a desktop as well. That's why I have the VU meters and the links and stuff. That's what I enjoy about it. If you just want like fancy looking like little animations, you can do that as well. But that's all I really have for this video guys. So if you enjoyed it or if it's helped at all, uh, if you need a little bit of help in the comments, I will be there as well. So 
you know, ask some simple questions like uh, how to find a certain skin or something like that. Uh, Google will probably be your best friend, but I will try to be your friend as well because I'm a very nice man. But that's all I'll have for this video, guys. So I'll see you in the next one and bye. <laughs>